have the right to demand from the Lord. We are under His mercy. Cuatro tres ng Santiago, sometimes in these circumstances, kahit mag-iiyak ka na mag-iiyak, hindi niya ibibigay sa'yo. 4.3 of James. Kayo'y nagsisihingi at hindi kayo nagsisitanggap sapagkat nagsisihingi kayo ng masama upang gugulin sa inyong mga kalayawan. If we ask anything according to His will, kung hihingi tayo ng anumang bagay, kahit ano pa yon, kung naaayon sa kanyang kalooban, bibigay niya yon. Pero pag hindi niya binibigay, hindi ayon sa kalooban niya yon. Maaaring ikakasama mo yon. Kaya ako minsan, ayaw ibigay ng Diyos agad sa kanyang mga anak yung hinihingi nila, baka ikakasama nila. Minsan naman, tinitignan ng Diyos yung patience mo, your trust, your belief. Parang si Abraham, nang humingi si Abraham ng anak, 20 anyos pa lang siya, humingi na siya ng anak eh. Nang bigyan siya ng anak, 86 years old na siya eh. Eh, nung ipanganak si Isaac, yung talagang anak niya, eh magwa 100 years old na siya. So he was praying for so long a time. Uh, ito pa isang example. One five of the book of Luke. Let us read. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abijah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Very popular yan si John the Baptist eh. Pero ang kasaysayan niya, yung kanyang magulang, pareho ng stricken in years si Sekaraya and Elizabeth. At matagal silang nananalangin sa Diyos, but hindi binibigay. Pero nung the right time, in God's time, binigay, at ang kanilang naging anak, is one of the most popular figures in the Bible. And that was John the Baptist. The one who prepared the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. So, isang dahilan, but hindi mo agad natatanggap, Because it is not yet the perfect time. Meron namang isang dahilan pa na kung ba't hindi binibigay ng Diyos ang ating hinihingi. Kasi sabi dun sa 9.31 ng Juan, Nalalaman naming hindi pinakikingga ng Diyos ang mga makasalanan. Datapwat kung ang sino mang tao'y maging mananamba sa Diyos at ginagawa ang kanyang kalooban, siya'y pinakikingga niya. Merong mga tao hindi gumagawa ng kalooban ng Diyos. Wala silang Diyos sa buhay, di sila naniniwala sa Diyos, pero nananalangin sila. Pero sabi ng Biblia, kung ang sino man tao ay maging mananamba sa Diyos, matuto tayo ng pagsamba sa Diyos, ginagawa ang kanyang kalooban, pinakikinggan niya. Pero kung makasalanan ka, hindi ka pakikinggan ng Diyos. Sabi ng Biblia, nalalaman namin hindi pinakikinggan ng Diyos ang mga makasalanan. Pero kahit makasalanan ka, kung ikaw ay naging mananamba sa Diyos, nagbalik loob ka, at ginagawa yung kalooban ng Diyos, pakikinggang ka niya. So there are three possible reasons. It is not for you. It is something bad. At wala sa timing. Hindi pa sa tamang panahon. Or maybe something else is meant for you. Hindi pa talaga para sa'yo. Maaaring meron pa siyang mas maganda para sa'yo. Yun ang mga reasons kaya hindi natin agad natatanggap, hindi agad ibinibigay. 
At ang dapat makaapi sa atin is this. We are God's servants. We are servants. We do not have the right to demand from the Lord. We are under His mercy. Yun ang laging nag-aano ng kalooban ko. Kung wala ako nito, wala ako noon, I do not have any right to demand it from the Lord. 